Oyinola's eyes locked on Totunde's. She felt the hair stop out of her lungs. It was as if the entire universe had come to a standstill. She was a mess, and it was the chaos she never knew she needed. Their first encounter was a disaster. Tunde, with his charming smile and captivating stage presence, had tried to woo her with his music. But Oyinola, with her sharp tongue and quick nick, had shot him down. You think you can serenade me with your mediocre music? She had teased. But fate had other plans. They kept running into each other, and their banter became a game of cat and mouse. Tunde would try to charm her, and Oyinola would deflect with her sarcasm. Yet, beneath the surface, they both felt an undeniable spark. One fateful night, Tunde showed up at Oyinola's doorstep with guitar in his hand. I am not leaving until you listen to me, he said, his eyes burning with determination. Oyinola, with a mix of annoyance and curiosity, let him in. As Tunde streamed his guitar and sang from the heart, Oyinola felt her defenses crumble. Maybe, just maybe, this charming musician was worth a second chance. And so, the away wind romance began. Tunde would write songs for Oyinola, and she would be his muse. They would dance under the stars, laughing and loving with abandon. But their love was not without its challenges. Oyinola's mother, Yango Z, disapproved of Tunde's unstable career. Tunde's best friend, Shegun, thought Oyinola was too high for him to maintain. But their love was not without its challenges. Oyinola's mother, Yango Z, disapproved of Tunde's unstable career. Tunde's best friend, Shegun, thought Oyinola was too high for him to maintain. And Oyinola's best friend, MC, just wanted her to be happy. Through it all, Oyinola and Tunde held on to each other. They knew their love was worth fighting for. One day, Tunde took Oyinola to the same spot where they had their first encounter. He got down on one knee and pulled out a ring and said, From the first moment I met you, I knew you were the one. Will you marry me? Tears streaming down her eyes. Oyinola said yes. And so, the journey began. As the night wore on, Oyinola and Tune shared their first dance as husband and wife. Swaying to the rhythm of soulful ballad, the crowd cheered on and Yemi see Oyinola's best friend wiped away tears of joy. Their only moon, their only moon was a romantic getaway to Zanzibar, where they basked in the sun, explored the local culture and enjoyed each other's company. Back home, they settled into a cozy lifestyle, building a music studio and starting a family. Oyinola became today's partner in every sense supporting his music career and even co-writing songs with him. Years later, when asked about their secret to a happy marriage, Oinala would smile and say, we laughed together, cried together, and made music together. And through it all, 